Okay guys, uh, this is John and I am about two hours north, northeast of Portland in uh, an area close to Silver Star Mountain in Washington. I'm out here doing my first motorized dolly time lapse. So this is a Kessler Crane version 2 pocket dolly uh, we've got going on here. And uh, I've got some Manfrotto legs, not the most stable thing in the world. But uh, it seems to be working pretty well, and I've got my 7D kind of clicking away right here. And you can see uh, I've got it mounted to a 701 HDV mount for the head. Um, and then there's a little Gitzo Giotto, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, quick release plate right there. Uh, so what I've done is I actually, uh, I used to, and am still a little bit, kind of an astronomy fan. And uh, I have an equatorial mount that uh, I was planning on mounting my camera to, but I decided to take the motor off of it and see if I could just kind of MacGyver something up uh, to motorize this pocket dolly because Castle Crane makes great stuff. Their uh, Oracle and Electro Drive system is just way out of my budget. So this is a uh, simple type EQ1 drive. They make these, I actually got it from Orion, and they make them for Celestron scopes, uh, a bunch of equatorial mounts, and so you can probably just Google equatorial telescope mount motor uh, and find something like this. And so it has a variable speed uh, dial on the left, top left, and you can change the direction as you can see the, um, the bottom switch, this is north and south, and there's an on off switch right here, and you can see that there's actually a shaft that actually came with the uh, motor itself, and then I just gaffed it off and then tied a rubber band around it just to add some tension to the uh, nut. Another thing that I um, thought I had handled but not so well is the fact that I'm under a giant pine tree and uh, it's starting to warm up here a little bit and <laughs> these big snowflakes or these big snow chunks are falling down onto my camera here. Oh and you can see that I've uh, of course brought my husky shepherd Nika with me and she looks incredibly bored. She <laughs> loves coming up here but I'm really bored. Uh, I'm not yet but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I plan on doing... Uh, there's some more snow. I think it's gonna be fine. It's not really gonna do any damage because uh, uh, Castle Crane makes good stuff and so it's uh, pretty well built. Uh, I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, get back to watching this Time lapse go by very, very slowly. Well, there we go. We'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've uh, repositioned the camera, and now I'm doing a push in with this setup. Uh, I had selected this, this scene probably about half an hour ago, and I was really excited about it. So now, you could go away. Uh, the light has kind of died. These little, I don't know if you can see it, but there were some uh, are some little snowballs on this tree. They were lit really not really well with uh, light, but unfortunately not. So, you know, I figured, see what happens. Uh, it's gonna be, yeah, it'll be okay. So again, same setup. Here we go, a little bit different angle on our motor. Here, ring away, and yes, it's very wet because of all the snow that's fallen down onto the Papa Deli setup uh, due to the tree I was under. Now, let's see, no tree, so. There we go. And uh, here, this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is the last scene of the day. The light's fading a little bit. It's around four o'clock, and so probably in the next hour. The sun should be uh, going down a little bit, so I uh, reset my shot to just do a, a dolly uh, to, uh, from the left to the right across this vista. I've got some nice clouds going. Uh, so here we go. Here's the setup here. I'm sure you guys are probably sick of seeing this, but 
you know, what, when you're out here for an hour watching the camera slowly move across this thing, you get a little bored. So again, I will shut up and, uh, you know, let this happen.